Hey, everyone, take a look at my new invention. What is it, Joey? It's my reverse fanatic. What does it do? It causes things to change places. Change places? Yes, watch. You see, I have an apple on my left and an orange on my right. Now, I turn on the machine. There. Oops. Oh. They changed places. Yeah, I could get rich with this invention. Oh, uh, hey, no. that's to get away. Ah. Ah. Abracadabra is a production of the West Virginia School of Osteopathic Medicine and its Healthy Children's Initiative, working for a healthier West Virginia. Additional funding for this program is provided by Charleston Area Medical Center, the heart and soul of healthcare. Learn more about our 5210 campaign to keep kids healthy on the web at camc.org forward slash kids. Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield West Virginia, offering affordable insurance products for all your needs. Find the right coverage for you. Visit highmarkbcbswv.com. We've got you covered. West Virginia Mutual Insurance Company working every day with physicians and the entire healthcare community to improve public health. For more information, visit us online at wvmic.com. And by the Brick Street Foundation, proud to support local organizations that make a positive difference, helping communities grow to their fullest potential. For more information, visit us online at brickstreetfoundation.org. Everybody, welcome to Abracadabra. We have a wonderful show for you today. Ahoy, matey! Daisy, why are you dressed as salty? I feel like salty, you land lover. Feel like salty? Arg, shiver me timbers! Hi, Mike. Hi, Salty. I just finished watering your plants. Good to see you, Daisy. Daisy? I gotta get back to my garden shop. See ya. Uh, and uh, I've gotta get back to me ship. Oh, something very strange is happening on the show today. Wonder if Joey's involved. Let me go see if I can find him. Shiver me timbers, let's play the grocery shelf game. <laughs> when you go to the grocery store, there are lots of items on the shelves. How do you decide which ones to buy? Here are some items from the grocery shelves today. Can you help me decide which three items go in me basket? How about stuffing? No! No, because it's loaded with fat. How about some grapes? Yes! Yes, because fresh fruit is always good for ye. What about fruit cocktail? Maybe. If it's canned in syrup, that's not good. But if it's canned in its own juices, that's good enough for me. <laughs> How about fluffy marshmallows? No! No, because they contain a lot, a lot of sugar. How about low-fat yogurt? Yes! Yes, because it's low in fat. And those are our three items from the grocery shelves today. <laughs> Next time you go to the grocery store, pick the healthy items off the shelf, and ye will always be a winner! I'm looking for a volunteer. Brianna, come on up. How are you today? Good. I have two crowns. I have a yellow crown and an empty tube. And I have a red crown and another empty tube. Place your tube on top of it. Okay. Now, this is do as I do, okay? Put your hand right on top and follow me. Turn it over once, turn it over twice, 
turn it over again, lift your tube, and the, uh, oh, oh, what happened? That's not right, turn, turn your tube back over. There we go, put it back in. Okay, let's see if we're starting the same way. Okay, great. Ready, turn it over once, turn it over twice, turn it over again, lift it up, and, oh. Wait a moment, maybe, maybe you should have the red crown. Take that one, I'll take the yellow crown this time, okay? And we'll place it right into the tubes. All right, here we go. Turn it over once, turn it over twice, turn it over again, lift your tube, and uh, oh! Try that one more time. Okay. There we go. I know this time. Ready? Over once, over twice, lift it up again, and whoop it up, and oh! Oh, I think we need some magic, don't you? Yeah. Okay, tell you what, start up straight. There we go, put it in. Okay, both the same way, right? Okay, turn it over once. Turn over twice, turn over again, turn over one more time just for good luck. And can you all say the magic words, abracadabra? Abracadabra! Lift your tube. Yes, it worked. Thank you for helping us with that. Wow. Abracadabra! Hi, Joey. Nike, we got a problem. What's the problem? Well, you see my new invention, the reverse synatic? accidentally went on when Nastini was trying to steal it. Oh my, well, what happened? Well, I'm not sure, but I think everyone's identity was switched. Oh, so that's what's been going on. You mean you've seen them? I'll say. Daisy is acting like Salty, and Nastini is acting like Daisy. Oh no, what are we gonna do? I don't know, Joey, but we're gonna have to try to fix this. Oh yeah. Hey, Daisy, we're hungry. Right. Well, that's why I'm here to make you a healthy snack. But for some reason, it just doesn't feel right. Hey, wait a minute. Uh, you're not Daisy. You're Nastini. Nastini? Do I look like Nastini? Uh, oh, by the way, do you like my new hat, Duck? Are you sure you're Daisy? Well, you know, I, I feel like Daisy. Well, anyway, let's make a healthy snack. Hey guys, you know how Nastini loves spring snakes? Oh, uh, that's for sure. You can say that again. Yeah. Well, we're going to make a healthy snack called a snake kebab. A snake kebab? Sure, they're easy. You guys want to make them with me? Sure. Okay, here's what we do. First of all, you take a strawberry and you cut off the end. I like strawberries. Oh, strawberries Cute. are so healthy for you. I'm going to give you ladies one. Okay, now the next thing we do is we take a skewer, so grab yourself a skewer. Oh. And you want to put the point end through the tip of the strawberry. That way it'll be easy to alternate our next wonderful fruit, the banana. Oh, yeah, bananas. Mm, bananas are also healthy for you. So you take a piece of banana and you put that next. And then you just keep alternating strawberry and bananas. All right, guys, did you know that these are extremely healthy for you? They only contain 65 calories and they're high in vitamin A and potassium. Well, they look great. They do, and they smell wonderful too. <laughs> now what you guys want to do as we alternate strawberry and banana, you want to end up with a banana tail, and that will hold it on pretty tight. Now, the last thing we want to do, girls, is we want to take raisins, and we want to dip them in peanut butter. You need two of them. And those are the eyes of our snake kebabs. Well. That's great! And easy to make and fun. <laughs> May we have one? Well, sure. Let's eat. Well, first, let's sprinkle on some granola. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I may look like Daisy, but I couldn't resist that. <laughs> so when Nastini tried to steal the reverse matic it accidentally turned on and switched everybody's identity except Joey's. Oh no, what are you gonna do, Mike? This is not good. You can say that again. Yeah, I, I have an idea, but I'm still working on it. In the meantime, would you like to see a magic trick? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I already have a balloon. I'm gonna blow up this balloon. Just about that big. And I also have a needle. Now, what would happen if I poke this needle through the balloon? 
It'll pop. It'll pop. That's right. But let's see if we could do something magically. Can you all help me with the magic words? Ready? Abracadabra. It's good. Then you can take this needle and poke it right through the center oh of the balloon. Look at that. Oh, Isn't that, that is amazing? Awesome. Now, it really is a real needle because you still can pop the balloon. <laughs> Hi, Mike. Hello, all of you nice kitties. Hi, Professor Science. <laughs> What's that? I brought some granola with me, Mike. Oh, thank you. Aren't you gonna open it? Well, maybe later. Open it! What? I mean, don't you want to share this granola with all these beautiful children? Sounds good to me. Me too. Go ahead, Mike. Okay, might as well. Oh, oh. Oh. <laughs> Mike, I am Nastini! <laughs> Destiny? Oh, I forgot. They switched identities. Hmm. I wonder who's acting like Professor Science. Hi, Professor Science. Uh, what are we doing today? Hi, Jonathan. Today, we're going to learn about chemistry. Great. So, I take this beaker and fill it with liquid. Oops! What My happened, goodness. Professor? Well, I don't really know what happened. Let's try it again. Take the beaker, put in the liquid. Oh, my goodness! Wow! That's amazing! Just remember, boys and girls, it may look like science, but it's really magic. Bye. Mr. Oops, so you're Professor Science. Hi, Mike. Yes, I do feel compelled to act like him. Mm, I understand. Uh, I was just cleaning up the lab. Would you hold this? Oops, oh my goodness. Oh. Well, I'm glad some things haven't changed. Uh, come on, guys. Let's get up and move our bodies. Hawk! I sense an exercise song. I'd best go on land and investigate. Perhaps I can move my body. Hi! Oh. Let's move our bodies! <laughs> Time for a quick trick. I, oh, yeah, salty. Yar. I have some playing cards. Can you take a playing card? Show it to everybody. I won't look. Remember the card? Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna take your card, just place it on top of the deck, and then I'm just gonna mix up all the cards. All right. Watch. Did you see it happen? Take a look, I've made your card disappear from the deck. What was your card? The King of Apples. It's gone! Can you make your assistance card disappear? Sure you can. I'll show you how after this. Today's quick trick is brought to you by the avocado. The avocado is known as the alligator pear because of its shape and leather-like appearance of the skin. Avocados are native to Central and South America. 
California grows 95% of all avocados produced in the United States. Avocados are used to make guacamole and are tasty in soups, salads, and on sandwiches. Avocados contain vitamin K, dietary fiber, and vitamin B. They also contain vitamin C and potassium. Put those all together and you have the avocado. See how many foods you like avocado in. Yeah. And now here's the quick trick secret. For this trick, you're gonna need some playing cards and some double stick tape. Take a piece of the double stick tape and place it on the back of one of the cards. Then place that card on top of the deck. Now you're ready to perform. To perform, show the deck to your assistant and have them select a card. Okay. Remember the card. Then you take the card back without looking and place it on top of the deck, right on top of that double stick tape. Then mix the cards up so the card is somewhere in the middle and you're ready to say the magic words, abracadabra, and show that your card has disappeared. What was your card? The King of Apples. Notice that the King of Apples is gone from the deck. And that's the Quick Trick Secret. For more Quick Tricks, be sure to check out our website. In the meantime, try this trick at home and your friends will think you're a magician. Hello, clock. Uh, I don't suppose you've seen Michael anywhere. Oh, oh, no, 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 clock. It's not salty, it's Mr. Oops. Oh, there's Michael now. Bye-bye, clock. Hi, salty. I... Where? Uh, oh, I forgot. Who are you? Oh, uh, my dear boy, I'm Mr. Oops. Don't you remember? Oh, of course. Well, what brings you to the shop today, Mr. Oops? Well, today I'm feeling compelled to tell you about this new magic trick which I've just invented. Why am I not surprised? Okay, what do you call this trick of yours? I call this one chicken. Chicken? Yes. Uh, you see, first I take this box and show that it is empty. Next. I take this tube and show that it is empty. And then I say, voila! And I remove a rubber chicken. Wow, that's pretty good, Salt. Uh, I mean, Mr. Oops. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. But there's only one trouble with this trick. What's that? Well, every time I perform the magic, I get another rubber chicken. <laughs> and at this point, my house is filled floor to ceiling with rubber chickens. I could see that could be a problem. Yes, and that brings us to this, to this point. Would you care to buy a surplus of rubber chickens, Michael? It's time to play the Make a Healthy Choice game. I'm going to show you three products. You have to decide which one is healthier. Today, let's look at some foods for a cold day. We have chicken noodle soup, chili, and vegetable soup. Which one would you choose? If you chose the vegetable soup, you'd be correct. The vegetable soup only has 82 calories per cup, okay, and about a half of a teaspoon of fat. The chicken noodle soup has 130 calories per cup and about one and a quarter teaspoons of fat. The chili has 287 calories per cup and three and a half teaspoons of fat. So the healthy choice is the vegetable soup. Make a healthy choice at home and you'll always be a winner. Today, I have a large filing cabinet. Gentlemen.
Oh, oh and this side is Allison. This is Allison. Hi, Allison. How are you? I'm good. Good. We're going to uh, put Allison on this side of the filing cabinet. Can you go in there, Allison? In between us, we have a solid wall. That's good. Watch what we're going to do. We're going to move Allison from this side of the cabinet to this side of the cabinet, little by little. Watch. Gentlemen. We have some great blades here, and I just want you to see that they're solid, okay? Can you tap on these blades for us? Go ahead, tap on the blades. Great, bang on the blades. Great, okay, super. I'm gonna take the blades and start putting them into the box. How about that? <laughs> what are we gonna do, Mike? Well, Joe, I have an idea. I've reversed the wiring in your invention. And if we can get everybody over here and turn it on, I think we can switch back everyone's identity. Wow, that's a great idea. Hey, everyone, come on over here. Come on, come on over. What is it, matey? It's that invention again. Be careful, Joey. I need to get that invention so that I can get rich. Whoa! Do you like my hat? Now, Mike. Okay, Joey. Uh, I'm me again. I didn't realize it was hard being a pirate, Salty. It takes a lot of hard work. Oh, it, it was a terrible trouble having to come up with new magic tricks like Mr. Oops. Oops? I have the professor's lab coat on. Uh, I never realized you had to have so much scientific knowledge to do science experiments. Yeah, hey! Give me back my cape! Gladly. I don't know why I thought I had to act like you, Nastini. It was terrible. No one liked me. It worked, Mike. Yay! It's not easy walking in someone else's shoes. It helps with understanding what someone is going through. See what it's like to walk in someone else's shoes. People are different in so many ways. Education or culture, religion or race. Different interests and backgrounds from all walks of life. You can't understand till you know what it's like. It helps with understanding what someone is going through. See what it's like to walk in someone else's shoes. People are different, I hope you can see. They come in many different nationalities, different physical ability and family ties. You can't understand till you know what it's like. It helps with understanding what someone is going through. See what it's like to walk in someone else's shoes. Oh, what a strange day. <laughs> yes, at least everything is back to normal around here. I took my invention of hearts and the Astini can never get it. I think that's a good idea, Joey. What are you going to put in your journal today? But well, today I learned that you never know what other people are going through unless you can actually walk in their shoes. That's very true. So we must never judge other people. Say, Nike, what do you give to a sick lemon? A sick lemon? I don't know, Joey. What do you give to a sick lemon? Lemon aid. <laughs> oh, say goodbye, Joey. Bye, everyone. Thank you for being my friend. And remember, boys and girls, the real magic is in you. Bye, everybody. Bye, bye. Ah! <laughs>
Please. At least everything is back to normal around here. I, yeah, okay. Sorry. We have vegetable soup. Oh, I was gonna start this one or something. <laughs> what was your card, Daisy? I forgot. I kept remembering it and I forgot because you kept on King of Carrots. When I win a chicken dinner! Abracadabra is a production of the West Virginia School of Osteopathic Medicine and its Healthy Children's Initiative, working for a healthier West Virginia. Additional funding for this program is provided by Charleston Area Medical Center, the heart and soul of healthcare. Learn more about our 5210 campaign to keep kids healthy on the web at camc.org forward slash kids. Highmark Blue Cross Blue Shield West Virginia, offering affordable insurance products for all your needs. Find the right coverage for you. Visit highmarkbcbswv.com. We've got you covered. West Virginia Mutual Insurance Company, working every day with physicians and the entire healthcare community to improve public health. For more information, visit us online at wvmic.com. And by the Brick Street Foundation, proud to support local organizations that make a positive difference helping communities grow to their fullest potential. For more information, visit us online at brickstreetfoundation.org.